Good afternoon, sir. How is you? Not bad, not bad, not bad. So what are we here to, to, to discuss this afternoon? The big the big news? <laughs> the big news. Well, hopefully, all our listeners would have been listening and would have heard that we've been successful and we've secured another five years. So GFM, with the help of the listeners, community, businesses, organizations, yes, we will be here for another five years. Can I just say, if you're Sanchez fans... Listener, GFM will be part of the promotional package for Sanchez in Bristol later on in the year. There's a lot going on that we've been working on, but that's just a little taster for you. We will be part of that promotional package. Exclusive new Exclusive new there from the chairman. Absolutely. There's always things going on that we never share. Can I also big up Mr. Didge? I did get the voice. It's just Freddie had a million and one things going on. I didn't want to say anything in case I messed it up. You need to see Freddie in action. Trust me. It is something to see. Um, I'm not going to take too much of Freddie's time. Just really want to say a big, 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 big thank you to the listeners who responded to our appeal last year. Part of our application, as you know, was to show that we could self-finance for at least a year. What we were able to do was show that we can self-finance to a degree. We demonstrated that with the money that was raised. And over the years, we have managed GFM solidly, professionally, for want of a better word. So we have a a solid monetary foundation. That's due to Paul Johnston. Um, He has made sure that things have been the way they should have been. So when the application went in, we were able to show clearly that there has been a trend. Um, Over the years, there have been things we've had to manage, and we've managed them accordingly. So... From that point of view, I always felt confident we would secure the license. Um, Every year when I write the report to Ofcom, we have met all the objectives, the criteria, so it was only really a matter of time. Uh, So yes, we're here again for another five years. What we now need to do is rally again to the cause, support the station. We need businesses, organizations, community groups, to realize and recognize the potential GFM has to bring community cohesion. We aim to empower, educate, and entertain. That's the message we push here. This is something I strongly believe in because it's only a matter of time before I actually move on. I'm sure you all know that we can't do this thing forever. But when we set off on this vision to achieve where we are now, it was 22 days, 28 days. Then 365, and now we're here for another five years. So we can do it if we pull together. We now need new volunteers to step forward because some of us are getting old and tired. And Freddie can't keep jumping around (laughs) his studio the way he is. Trust me. I can't, you know, people. I can't believe. (laughs) We really do need people to come forward. Currently, we are seeking um, a minute taker to join the board and assist the management of the organization we're looking for people to join the community link crew yeah again i say we need new presenters we have people who have moved on to another level and we we recognize and understand that for five years you can't keep doing the same thing what i would urge you to do is to email us with your suggestions now we can move forward how we can better things it is imperative that i get your feedback don't be afraid to come up and see me when you see me about and tell me that you think so and so needs a little Reminder that that could be better, that could be better, maybe the station could do this. I take it all in. Trust me, whenever I see people and they tell me, I take it all in and I bring it back to the board and we'll try and implement what we can. It isn't always possible, but we do try. But at this stage, moving to the next five years, there has to be something that will take us forward and we need to look at ourselves. We need you to help us so we can move forward. I cannot stress enough, we need new volunteers. It is not a closed shop. Every one of our volunteers understand that they do not have a seat for life. If you do the things we ask of you, you put your demo in, bio, what you're able to do, then you will get the opportunity. It may take a bit of time, but you will get the opportunity. We now are taking responsible for our website. We need people who understand the mechanics to help Sajid and Chris to manage that effectively. We need to be more self-sufficient, and that is the aim for the next five years. If we don't achieve this, then we will have tried. But we need everybody to pull together once again and show where we're at. Any questions? 
please feel free to call in, Mr. Fredlocks. Yes. Anything you want to ask us, fire. <laughs> there's, a, there's a text in the studio that says, this is great news, respect and thanks to yourself and the team behind you for putting uh, together the application to Ofcom. That's from Chris. Okay, big shout out to you, Chris. There's another text saying, also, uh, also uh, all those in the community who gave uh, such great support, evidence of which helps get this license extension. So big shout out to a round of applause for all the people in the community there, yeah? Who helped this possible. Absolutely. Without being able to demonstrate... Absolutely, I agree with our Lord Arsenal. If we were not able to demonstrate that we could fundraise and show the growth, we could track the path of what we did, we could break down how we generated this fund. So from our point of view, we would not be, I would not be, here. like I said, writing a bid wasn't to, <laughs> I don't make light of it. The monetary bit was the important bit. Yeah, because having written an application before, it's about words, but you can't lie with figures. They have to stack up, and if they don't stack up, you have to show what you plan to do to make up the difference. Now, we will continue, because fundraising, as I've often said, it's not about today. It's about tomorrow, the day after, the day after. It continues all the time. Now, I know some of you will probably get fed up with us. Oh, we need money. But the truth of the matter is, we need money. We need you, cannot, you cannot survive if you don't have money to pay the bills. Yeah? We've got listeners who pay direct debit into GFM's account. Now, I can't embarrass these people, but that is something that really touched me, that the fact that every month there is a donation going towards keeping this station on air. The bits that we do as management and volunteers, you feel that this is part of the support. We were able to demonstrate that. So we recognize how important it is for the community to back us and for us to try and deliver what you desire from us. That's right, because we are a community radio station after all, yeah? Another text and it says, congratulations, enough respect. You make uh, the radio uh, worth listening to. So big shout out to the 057 there as well. Yeah, big shout out to you. Because you know, people, every text contributes to a bill. Yeah, and this is why I'm always on the text machine and work in the text machine because, you know, some people come in and they don't even say nothing, but I work this text machine because I know that it contributes to GFM survival campaign and we're here to survive. Absolutely, absolutely. Freddie does a lot more than just turning up. Yeah, we could get into all sorts of things, but I'm sure you recognize when Freddie gets on air, the enthusiasm, the way he interacts with the community and the encouragement to use the text machine. When we embarked on trying to do this bit of fundraising, we had a bit of a rebellion within the team. But it was costing us money to have the facilities, so we needed to find a way that would be a compromise. It would cover the bill as well as generate some income. I can vouch for the fact I know Freddie pushes the text line rather than the phone. Yeah, because the phone is the means of generating income. So while some yattering away here, please feel free to fire Texas. Fire. <laughs> fire rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> Serving the community. Okay, we have the chairperson sitting here, the Mr. Derek Francis, of course. Uh, any more information you want to get out before we start the party again? Because we're celebrating, <laughs> you know, we're celebrating the five years. Yes, again. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna run quickly. Just a bit of background, GFM is a member of the Community Media Association, which is an organisation that represents community radios and community TV stations. Now, we were nominated to be part of a digital campaign uh, information outlet, for want of a better word. Now, I'm just going to read something to you, uh, and I'd like you to manifest it, take it in and see if you can do it. It reads, digital TV switchover is coming to your area in April. Everybody needs to be ready. Do you know someone who might need help in switching to digital TV? If they are 75 or over, registered blind or partially sighted, or eligible for disability benefits, the Switchover Help Scheme offers them practical help to convert one of their TV sets to digital. To get help, they need to respond to the letter the Help Scheme has sent them. If you know someone who is eligible, give them a helping hand and remind them to apply for the help they are entitled to. You could even help them fill out their application form or ask them to call free on 0800 40 
87656. The switchover help scheme is run by the BBC under agreement with the government. For further information, visit the website helpscheme.co.uk. So, GFM is here to empower, educate and entertain. So tell a friend, tell a friend. If you're over 75, registered blind, partially sighted, you, you're eligible for disability benefits, this is for you. Yeah, number again, 0800 40 87 656. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Yeah, that's me. I'm out of here, Freddie. Thank you for your time. No problem, sir. It's a privilege, you know, a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you for your help. And thank all our listeners once again for the help.